And thanks for staying with us here tonight. A basketball trainer in Indianapolis who has worked with the NBA and WNBA players facing several charges of sexual misconduct with a minor and child seduction. Yeah, the accusations come from many young women who trained with him as younger girls right here in central Indiana. News 8's Eric Feldman shares details about this arrest. Eric, good evening. Good evening, Brooke and Mike. Sean Bolton was arrested late last week, and after months of, of investigating, the details are extensive and they're disturbing. Women and some girls who trained with Bolton for years describe a man who used his power to take advantage of them. This is according to those girls and women who talked with police over a six month investigation. They say Bolden acted inappropriately with them. Until recently, Bolden worked at, shot, at Shoot 360 in Indianapolis. One woman described feeling unsafe, another shaking when she saw him recently. Several of the girls and women say Bolton, Bolden would have them lie down, telling them to give him what he called his, quote, comfort. The court documents say he would, quote, touch the girl's neck, rub and caress her neck. He would tell her to swallow. He recorded it on his cell phone with several different girls. One woman says when she was 15, Bolden put a string around her neck when this happened, and it was so tight she started blacking out. Other women who say that they hired Bolden for practice reportedly ended up being inappropriately touched, all from a man who, according to his alleged website, has trained with professional basketball players. Now, though, he faces 15 counts from battery to strangulation to child seduction to sexual misconduct with a minor. Oh. Sorry about that. And meanwhile, we did get a statement from Shoot360. They did say that they've increased security measures and that they do also have increased training for employees. They added that Bolden was put on administrative leave when they found out about the accusations back six months ago. And then after they learned more details in the investigation, he was soon after fired. We do have that full statement on our website, wishtv.com. Live downtown, Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8.